on August 14, one of the most well-known pirated anime website, kissanime.ru, has officially been taken down. Whether it was because of copyrighted issues in Japan or not, it's still unclear because there's a recent policy that was implemented last June. Japan has been more strict with their copyright strikes and copyright issues, especially with media. However, there are a few things that I want to talk about in this issue. Three things, actually. First, guys, all the weeps out there in the world, F in the comment section. Pay respect to Kiss Anime. It's been very nice. 2012 or 2014 until 2020. Rest in peace. Hashtag rip Kiss Anime. Secondly, whenever you watch Kiss Anime, you realize that there are multiple other websites as well. That is the same as Kiss Anime, but they are not Kiss Anime. They are pretending to be Kiss Anime. In this issue, I highly discourage you from using it because it is very dangerous. But then you guys might ask, then what's the difference between using the official Kiss Anime and all the other Kiss Anime copies? The answer is very simple. Phishing. So phishing is basically when a particular website or link or anything appears to be legitimate but will use your information or maybe they are attracted to malware and viruses. So lastly, now that Kiss Anime is gone, how are we going to watch animes? So in this video, I'm going to give you a list of other websites that you can use. But before that, disclaimer, okay? I do not encourage anyone to use pirated websites for legal reasons. And it's definitely better if you can buy the merchandise or if you can watch it legally, whether it's through Crunchyroll, Anime Lab, or other websites. So, without any particular order, the first that I want to recommend is gogoanime.io. So, Gogo Anime has been around for a, ver for a very long time and it is very safe. The UI, however, is very appealing but the ads aren't very appealing. I don't think it's family friendly because some of the ads might be inappropriate, but you can still watch animes at Gogo Anime. Second is 9anime.io or .com as well. So these anime, 9anime for anime, anime 8 is also is a good website. The interface is very nice and you can click it and you can watch anime normally. The next suggestion that I would give is not a pirated website, which is Netflix. At first, I was hesitant to suggest Netflix because they don't have a lot of animes in their list or uh, what they offer, but they do have a lot of the popular ones. If you're only interested in popular ones and you want to watch it legally, just subscribe to Netflix. If you can't afford Netflix and you still want to watch anime, you can go to animeflix.io. It has similar uh, UI to Netflix, not really similar, but it's close enough and you get the easier feel to watch it. It's very simple. There are a lot other websites, but how do you decide whether it's actually good or not is you make sure that there will be ads in all of these websites because that's how they generate money but make sure it's not malicious and suspicious. And the way that you can detect it is through Reddit or you can ask people whether it's actually safe or not. In conclusion, it's been a sad year for us. 2020 has been through a lot of things and now it just got worse because Kiss Anime is down. But fret not, there are many other ways for you to watch anime. I hope you can enjoy with these other websites. 